Countless 100 multiplication facts that children have to learn up to 9 times 9. What approach do you recommend for learning those facts? Well, we uh, used to teach a number of facts by just uh, doing them in the, what was called the tables approach, mm -hmm. where we just practice, practice, practice. But now, when we look at the this multiplication chart, we can look at particular clusters, and we can use what's called a strategies approach. Mm -hmm. And that means we use a strategy that organizes a general way to learn those number of facts in that cluster, mm -hmm. which then we can extend to greater uh, numbers beyond the facts. And how long is this, this approach of utilizing strategies, how long has that been around? Uh, probably oh, 20 years maybe, but there's mm -hmm. increasingly research to show the effectiveness of it, so more and more curriculum are changing to yeah. include a strategies approach to number of facts. So it's not, it's not something new, not it brand been new. around for some no, time? No, not brand new, no. Okay. So what are the, the clusters of the, of the strategies? Of well, the one, of the, one of the clusters we, we concentrate on first would be the ones where fives are involved. So this row of fives by the five under, and under the five, we would use the strategy where we start with a ten. That's called the use ten strategy. Right. And then where we would have a, a row with a two and a column of two, we can use a double. Right. So, so you're saying a row, so a row of five and a row of two. So the row is is the facts of, of two uh, doubling, and then the, the column, I guess, is the turnaround facts. The right? turnaround for okay. that, right? So the row of two, four, and eight, and the column two, four, and eight. All of those facts are quite a few. We can use a doubling procedure. Right. And then uh, another uh, cluster would involve building down, where we multiply by nine, either either way.